If I were to create an online multiplayer game, you know, like World of Warcraft or maybe Diablo or something, you know that the costumes are going to change a lot. So you probably want to create a new script from scratch or even multiple scripts to control the different costumes. But just for the sake of learning, I will just reuse whatever we have already. So inside of the Iron Man prefab, I'm going to locate the Iron Man behavior script right here and double click on it to edit it. Now, what I want to do is change the material that's used of the Iron Man. So inside of the variables creation, I'm going to add a new variable. Right here, I'm going to create um, a variable for the material. So public material, and that's going to be an array of materials, and I'm going to call it materials. All right. But now I'm going to have to go ahead and assign the materials. But before doing so, I'm going to create um, a way to initialize the materials. So void initialize costume. Why costume? Because the material is going to change the costume of the main character. So int nb for number is equal to random dot range. So I'm, I'm basically taking a random costume. So, you know, I don't want to use the same costume again and again. So I'm going to randomize it. Percent materials dot length. So again, just like I did earlier for, um, for the uh, Iron Man um, here I'm doing um, again just selecting a number between the number of materials there is but using the modulus that's a technique that I love to use myself you don't have to do that you know you can just go straight and do that you know you can I can remove this and just do that and that will already work it, it will already select between zero and the max here but the reason why I'm using the modulus like this is that because I learned for my own sake that this is a better way to really randomize by using bigger numbers. Somehow it randomizes better, well, at least with Unity. And now game object dot get component. So I'm going to get the component of the material, which is the renderer. The renderer has the material. Renderer dot material dot uh, is equal to, and I'm going to make, make it equal to the material from the material. So materials and at the index NB, all right, as material, just to make sure that this is a material that we're getting back. All right, so now we're changing the material. However, I haven't used the initial costume, so I'm going to use it in the start. So go all the way up and look for the start right here, and I'm going to add it here. Initialize costume. All right, that's it. Now I'm going back to Unity and inside of Unity, I need to select the materials. So if you look at the Iron Man prefab, you will see the Iron Man behavior script now has a link for the material right here. I do see it here. You guys see the materials. I'm going to click here and size zero. I'm going to make it a size of four because I'm going to have four different costumes. So I'm going to select the first material, which is going to be the Iron Man material. I'm going to use this one. Then the second one will be the Iron Man 2. Then the third one will be obviously Iron Man 3, right? And the fourth one will be Iron Man 4. All right. Okay, so that's it. At this point, I'm going to click on Apply. So I'm going to go all the way up in Inspector and click on Apply so that this applies to the prefab. Okay, so making sure you do that. Now I'm going to press Play and the costumes are going to change. All right. You guys see that? Now it's a blue, it's a, it's a, it's a yellow costume. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna stop that and press play again. What do we have now? Purple. All right. I'm gonna click again. What do we have now? White. All right. So as you can see now, the colors are changing, and I only made four of them. But feel free to make you know a dozen of them if you like to. All right. So this is the quickest and most beautiful way of changing costume really quick. That's great for multiplayers. All right. Go ahead and have fun and add your own costumes. Um, add a black one if you want, um, you know, make some kind of a Dark Knight costume or maybe even a Superman type of costume. All right, have fun.